Today we're talking everything closet organization and I have 11 tips ranging from everyday household items that you can use to organize your closet along with items that are really used for a different purpose and design tips to help your closet look as stylish as possible while also being as functional as possible. Hang tight, it's coming right up on this week's episode of Real Design Your Home. Hi there and welcome to another edition of Real Design Your Home with me, Jen the Home Fluencer. On this channel, we meet at the intersection of real everyday people like you and me and aesthetically pleasing interior design, which is why we call it real design. We go over things like tips and tricks, how to's, DIYs, and the mentality that goes into the behind the design thought process so that together we can all be real designers. I invite you to join the real design family by hitting that subscribe button and coming to hang out on Wednesdays when we upload new videos. I think everybody loves a good design fail, right? So make sure to stick around until the end if you would like to see the design fails that sometimes occur in the making of these videos, <laughs> AKA the bloopers. I'm someone who cares a lot about organization, but I also care a lot about how something looks in terms of being aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Those two ideas really marry together in what we're going to do here today. All right, real designers, let's get into it. I thought of this idea because I have a lot of undershirts and I was never able to find the colors that I needed, whatever. The skinny straps of a tank top fit so perfectly on these little loops and this takes up so much less space. I have 22 tank tops. Look at the width that that takes up compared to 22 hangers. Now, I'm not saying it was ever gonna be feasible to hang up every single one of those tank tops, but hopefully you kind of get the point. I really have done this with as many things as I can in my closet. This method is so nice to just grab it. If you have any just like a little sliver of space, what this piece of plastic is is really just the lid to an under the bed box. You could put anything on this. I mean, I obviously chose to do flip flop sandals, that kind of thing. We definitely knew we wanted a bench here in front of the shoes, but instead of putting just a regular old bench, I thought to myself, we really need a storage bench. And my oh my, does this thing fit a ton of clothing? I would argue that this fits probably about a small dresser's worth of clothing. And if we just chose to get a bench that just had cute little <laughs> floating legs, I mean, all the storage space would be lost. This little step stool here, we knew that we needed something that was going to be able to reach high up, but it's one of those things where, you know, you either probably want a step stool that's just gonna kind of blend in somewhere, and then it's like, where do you put it? You're kind of in and out with it all the time. I'm like, let's just get a cute little stool. We're usually actually stepping on it as a step stool, yet it fits in with the design aesthetic. The legs here on this stool didn't really go with the space, they're like an oak. So all I did is I just got some spray paint, taupe color. Now our cute little step stool just matches perfectly. Yeah! So for my fifth tip here, having to do with boots, you can either buy those, you know, expensive boot stands that make your boots stand straight up and down. What I choose to do is actually use my boots as storage. What I really generally keep in here are kind of like those big, thick boot socks that would take up like half my sock drawer otherwise. But if you put them in the boots, then it really works to function. My sixth tip here just has to do with storing shoes. I would at minimum recommend storing the shoes opposite just because they're gonna fit into each other that way and there will just be less dead space in the middle. And I've even stacked them uh, so that I can fit more into one space. And I also thought of this idea because again, we're low on space to have one of the shoes showing so that basically I could see what shoes are there. And then I have its partner shoe in the back. This was a way to be able to still fit all my shoes and still be able to see all them at one time, which is really what I need because otherwise I'm not wearing the things. <laughs> I would love to hear from you in the comments. What is something that you've incorporated into your house in terms of an organizational item? Doesn't even have to be a closet. That's maybe a little bit unique 
And I think it would be great if the community could see that because, I mean, we can all benefit from new, really cool ideas. And I would love if you could use the like, dislike feature down below to really count as your vote in terms of what you think of this content because I really like to view this channel as our channel together. I can really use that valuable information to help shape future content for this channel. My seventh tip here is, again, just to kind of layer in the design. I knew that I wanted something that was gonna be really functioning for a perfume stand. If you Google just perfume stand, you're gonna likely probably see something that is cheap looking or overly elegant. It looks like something that Mariah Carey would have, which certainly did not fit into the gender neutral design aesthetic of our master closet. So this type of tray here is, it's, you know, it's one of those multifunctional trays. I think it's meant for a dining room. My next two tips here have to do with hangers. So for number eight and nine, these shorts hangers here are, you know, they're probably fairly obvious. Although I'm sure I knew something like this existed, I didn't realize how impactful it actually would be to the space. So because I was late to the game on these, I just wanted to make a mention of them just in the event that you've, you know, either never seen them or have seen them and thought, meh, do I really need those? I at least wanted to kind of deliver the news, hey, they really do save a lot of space and I'm really happy with that purchase. I had a very limited space here to put a third layer. I knew that I needed to think of something really outside of the box to be able to fit my jeans. So I folded them sideways and I got these really interesting kind of double customizable, if you will, stacked hangers, meaning they can be taken apart or put back together. And I kind of fold them in opposite directions so that they lay really nicely. I would have nowhere to put all of this third layer right here if I didn't do this idea. My last two tips have to do with getting items that are functional, but also pleasing to the eye. So it's again, kind of putting your designer cap on with your organizational cap on. So this next one is jewelry cases. So I have specifically these watch cases here, as well as some kind of like overflow jewelry stuff. It was the design in mind first, function second, marry the two together, and we have a happy couple. <laughs> And then for my last and 11th tip, when you're thinking of storage bins, I feel like you either want them to pretty much completely blend in. If you saw my last video about it's, you know, in the design, it's what you don't see. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it. It's the idea of not stopping the eye. So I feel like in a storage bin, you either want that or you want to stop the eye because it's actually pleasing to look at. What you don't want to do is stop the eye because you're like, ugh. That thing doesn't look like it goes at all. I have a ton of storage bins that are old, ugly. Obviously super functional. But do you know where I keep them? I keep them in like my bathroom cabinet that you're not gonna see. It's literally always going to be behind closed doors. I'm gonna shuffle through all of the storage kind of unique, fun bins, what they're used for because they're used for the most random things. <laughs> enjoy this video, please hit the like button down below. That also does tell YouTube to share it with other people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing before you go so that every Wednesday we can roll up our sleeves, even though I'm not wearing any, <laughs> and real design together. Another great reason to subscribe and join the Real Design family is I do have a couple of really cool upcoming videos. One is a kind of a little miniature shiplap project. One is a rose gold and acrylic garment rack that I'm completely DIYing. <laughs> should be interesting. And I'm gonna be sharing how we converted our kind of standard hollow core doors that came with our home into a really affordable double barn door. If you happen to be interested in hanging out more, I actually do have a second channel here on YouTube. Sometimes you have to.
to make work what makes work. They just go, okay, time for a drink. Oh, it's heavy. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be huge. On and off, so <clears throat> just go deep in, I don't wanna use the word skimpy, but more skimpy kind of even not undershirts. I appreciate the time that you spent with me today and I will see you soon next Wednesday.